In information theory, we're interested in the Huffman algorithm because it gives us a way to find a symbol code which minimizes the expected code word length, the sum of the LIs times the PIs for a given probability mass function P. But it turns out that the same exact algorithm can be used to minimize any function of the form the sum of Li times some non-negative weights Wi. So this was so this was our length. This was a function of these Ls, and we were minimizing this over all possible uniquely decodable codes. We were minimizing the expected lengths, and now we have some other function. It's a function also of the Ls. But instead of having these p's, instead of having probabilities, we now just have some arbitrary weights. And it turns out that the solving this minimization problem over all, still over uniquely decodable codes is exactly the same. It was there was nothing important about the Huffman algorithm, or there, there the, the optimality of the Huffman algorithm does not depend on these these weights being probabilities. So just to illustrate, uh, maybe I'll just quickly illustrate an example. Let's say that we have the following weights. Instead of p's, now we have weights. So let's say we have weights 6, 5, 3, 3, 1. And we want to find a uniquely decodable, maybe even a prefix code, ideally, a prefix code to minimize this, this f of l, prefix code with lengths li. So we just do the same thing. So we can take, so these two are minimal. We could have chosen that one instead. And we add them. Now 3 and 4 are minimal. We get 7. 6 and 5 are minimal. And we get 11. And combine these last two. So I'm doing a binary case. You could do whatever B you want. 18. And we do the code words in this, this, just the same way. Use my same colors. 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. And if we took these code words, their lengths are guaranteed to minimize this function over all uniquely decodable codes. So this works for any, maybe I'll just write here, this works for any weights which are non-negative. Okay, so that's that's how you do Huffman for weighted minimization. And maybe I'll just give you a, a, an example of, of a context in which this could be applicable. So here's an example of when you might actually, a situation that you might actually use this in. It may be a little bit contrived, but so here's the example. Let's suppose that some messages, so that you're going, you're gonna, you're gonna be sending messages again. You, so you, you wanna have your code words, you wanna have your code, but some messages are more urgent. So, for example, you know, maybe, you know, in, in English, you know, we have messages like run or duck or help that are very urgent messages. And so we'll suppose that for some messages, there is a higher cost per symbol, per code symbol, because so in this case, they're urgent. And so you want to have short messages for those, for those, uh, for those, uh, the met for you know shorter encoded version, shorter code words for those particular messages. So to mathematically describe this, we could say that for any given message, for message i, there is not only the length of the code word, but there's also a cost per symbol in the code word. Let's call it c i. So we have these costs c i. These are the costs per symbol cost per code symbol for code word for the message i for source symbol i and then of course li is just the same thing it's the length of your code word so now for each code word we have this sort of combined thing it's not just the lengths that we're interested in we're interested in the total cost which is the cost per symbol times the length so what we would like to minimize now is instead of minimizing the expected length above, instead of minimizing that thing, what we would like to minimize is 
the sum of the probabilities times these guys. So we have the cost per symbol times the length times the probability. And this can be viewed as this type of problem because we just set these guys right here equal to, or no, not we don't set those equal to the lengths. We want to have the length, so set those equal to the weights. We want to have something that looks like this. So what do we do? So we want to have some of the li's, w times the wi's. And so we should take the wi's to be what? To be the cost times the probability. So we'll take the wi's to be costs times probabilities. And then we write down what those those the products of those are in a list and we apply this Huffman procedure and we get a code with with lengths which is guaranteed to minimize to solve this weighted minimization problem and we're, we're minimizing in this case we're, we're still doing code words and so we need a uniquely decodable code and so the minimization that we are interested in doing is of the appropriate type to be solved by the Huffman algorithm Okay, so that was just a, a, a simple little example to maybe to just to illustrate a, a plausible situation, somewhat contrived, in which to illustrate how this might be useful.